Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're opening up a box of 2019 Heritage Minor League. We got this a couple, I don't know, weeks ago or more when we purchased it from Chase at the dugout. He had a few of these left from last year, so got a good deal on them. This product is actually pretty solid. Uh, Wander Franco's in here, along with a lot of the other top prospects from last year. Yeah, Bart and Robert are in here as well. It's actually for the, I want to say... I don't know how much these have, I don't know if these have gone up a bunch now or what, but we bought it for like fifty. Yeah, like around the, fifty around to fifty-five 50, 50 dollars. Fifty to probably. sixty dollars. So or fifty-five to sixty dollars, I think. Um, and we haven't ever really hit a big auto out of it. We've hit some okay ones, but nothing too crazy. We have a whole bunch of these. Who is this one? Ronnie Mauricio. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of good names in here, and obviously these don't sell like the Bowman cards or anything, but. They're, they're on-card autographs. There's some really cool, like, stamp and or coin, excuse me, relic cards and autographs and um, autograph, uh, is it stamps? No, just coins. I think, I don't know. I don't Anyways, know. There, there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of interesting stuff, stuff in here. Um, and obviously in their minor league uniform. So if you're a fan of the minor leagues, a very fun set. You can look up all the team names and where they're located. Yeah, for sure. And um, these cards do, if you get a guy who ends up being, you know, someone like an Acuna Trout in the long run, I think Trout's base cards out of here, like his first uh, minor league base. Hand me the stack there. I'll look to see if there's anything. There isn't, because there aren't short prints in here like uh, regular Heritage. Nothing like crazy. I don't know if you remember that or not, but it's quite a bit different. Right. So. <clears throat> there are some weird variations, though, just like regular Heritage. One of these trash panda things. Evan White and Bunyan. We were supposed to get Diamond Kings today. Today is Wednesday, June 10th, and we did not get that because of all the shipping delays in the country uh, due to various reasons. Um, but we were supposed to get that today, so hopefully we'll get that tomorrow. We'll be opening that up on the channel. Uh, this this uh, product has one uh, autograph and one memorabilia card, so you get two hits. It's not bad. Yeah, especially for the price range. I mean, you really can't buy many. There's a Keston. Can't buy a ton of products at this price point anymore. Without Joe so. Adele, yeah. Um, Kawar, there's a bow. That's pretty sweet. Um, that's a short print as well, so that's nice. Bo Bichette. Played for the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. That was, there's a Joey Bart, too. That was a good pack. Um, New Hampshire Fisher Cats were, we actually never went to a game, but they were, no. they weren't close, but they were in the vicinity. Yeah, of they we were live, so. hour, two hours away and, or we used to live and, uh, Vlad played for them too. Yeah. Um, Gomez, Casey Mize, Joe White. I want to say that's a double A, but I'm not sure. It's either high single ball I don't or remember. it's double. I don't. Um, all right. So you get 18 packs in here with what eight cards per pack so a little less than regular heritage which i always think is interesting but i think it's because it's a lot smaller set only 200 cards same size as um rate heritage high number was what i was going to say yeah heritage high number has a smaller card, number or size card set so now pro debut comes out soon and pro debut is a really fun set as well minor league set that the price has gone way up on at least the pre-buys and then there's a Tim Steve Tebow. Him. Then there's uh, a jumbo box this year, a pro debut. So stay tuned for that. We hope to get our hands on both the hobby and the jumbo if we can afford uh, the price point. We have a uh, relic, relic in here. In here. Blue, yep. relic. blue. Let's see who this is going to be. Clubhouse Collection, blue out of 99, Jonathan Hernandez for the Frisco Rough Riders. I want to say that it's either Astros or Rangers, but I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to look it up. I could be way off too, but I don't say the. I want to say it's Astros, but I don't I'm know. purely basing <clears throat> this off of playing video games because if you play Road to the Show in MLB The Show, um, you get to play for all these different minor league teams. So, all right, so that's the first half of the box. The second half, we should have an autograph coming. Um, yeah, but it's going back to pro debut. Hopefully we can get some of that. I think that comes out in a, in a week or two. I, I'm not sure. I got to look at the dates again, but I think it's, it might be next week. Yeah, it could be. And then I think after that is tops finest. So 
And of course, the prices are just out of control. Yeah, um, we skipped tier one just because it's only like a one pack thing. It really isn't that good, and it was very expensive this yeah, year. Yeah, even so. though we could get it at a better price than Blowout, I think Blowout's at what one seventy two hundred. Yeah, they're in two hundred, which is crazy because tier one has never been. If you look look through breaks of years past case breaks, and you'll see what we're saying. That's not a very good product. You can get there's. Pretty often you'll get a box or you get like a Reese Hoskins and some rookie pitcher autograph, both numbered to two ninety nine. nothing special. I like the wood, the ducks. wood ducks. That's pretty cool. I love the, the names, like the aviators here. I mean, the, the names of the teams. Um, now well, that's not as creative, but uh, anyways, there there's this one is awesome. The Rumble Ponies. This is in New York, right? I, I, I think it's ben so. uh, Bennington, New York, is it? Is that right? I don't know. I think it is. I think we have a friend on YouTube that lives over I think that we way. Do too, but... Collecting attorney. I think he's the the guy that is over he, there. Yeah, I think you're right. Shout out to him if you haven't checked his channel. I just saw he posted something the other day. Yeah, there's Royce Lewis. There's a lot of good names in here. He's supposed to. He was gonna get probably called up this year, but obviously with baseball, you know, not really sort of kind of happening. So we got a one or two of his autos, and he's uh, he's pretty couple, good. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good prospect. Did he go to the Diamond King or the Diamondbacks? Yep. I almost said I said Diamond Kings, and I meant to say Diamondbacks. Um, but he was with. There's, there's Wander, Wander, Hot Rods. That's pretty good centering on that card. Yeah, maybe slap that one off to grading. I don't know. Um, the card that we've got, the Wander PSA 10 Bowman Chrome. First, we paid about $40 for that back in the day. Um, and those have gone up in value quite a bit. That's like a $100 card now. Um, so he's definitely getting some more traction. And if there were to be baseball this year, you know, he may have been called up this year. I don't know. So I like the background on that card. That's pretty cool. And the uniform. So... Nice look to that that it one. Might be a short print. That might be. Let's see. Not a, just a high number, no. No, not a high number. There's another Wander, uh, Sporting News. This guy's got his sunglasses way up there. The Potomac Nationals, and there's a Jordan. Nice. So, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of good um, prospects in here. I mean, all the top names, really. I mean, we got most of them already so let's see if we can get a good auto of one of them that'd be sweet I'd rodriguez a... this is another uh hot prospect yeah for the mariners uh let's see is this our auto nope it's another wander wow it's like three packs in a row of wanders take that for sure Corey ray and lambert and Domingo. All right, so we got four packs left. Yeah, you got four packs. All right, so let's see what we can get. Devin, out of the you last usually four. get like a blue border parallel. Yeah, like usually a, yep. some kind of bordered parallel thing too out of these. So maybe if we don't get that, maybe it'll be just like an insanely good. Maybe auto. just a super good auto. You know, one thing that I wish they would put in here would be chromes. There are no chromes in here. That I know sweet. that. Of course, that would I'm sure drive the price point up, but it would still be cool. They're, aren't they making Stadium Club Chrome this year? They supposedly are making Stadium Club, but they're also going to make a black Chrome, I just saw. And that's supposed to come out in November. A black, oh, like, yeah, like a black Sapphire Chrome? Set. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's different. I, it probably is something like a Sapphire set, except black. There's our autograph, so It let's... could be a blue thing, too, though. I don't know. No, it's not. I'm going to save it just to the end of the pack there. I'm hoping it's a uh, Franco. It's probably some no-name guy. Franco but... might be a redemption in here. He could. It's Ooh, black. it's black. That's cool. Hold well, on, let's see what the odds are on blacks. Cause I... Yeah, they're pretty difficult to pull. It's a Hammerheads. No, it's just, no, a, it's just a black. See, I told you. So, yeah. It could be not an autograph. Yeah, it could be not an autograph. So, it's faked you all out. The slow roll for a card number to 50, which is still pretty nice. That is, here, you can show the name again. 
Cabrera, Edward Cabrera. I thought for a second that could be a um a one on one. Yeah, but just because other top stuff is black yeah. sometimes, but it's not. That um, which is kind of funny. I don't know. Yeah, so look up the black chrome. There's a, There's a Gavin Lux. Look up black chrome. Um, that is coming out in the fall. So. Yeah, I want to say the autos aren't flipped over. That's why. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. Last pack autograph, I guess, in this one. Taylor Trammell. All right, so last pack should have an autograph. Let's get a Luis Robert auto. That'd be sweet. That would be nice. Kalenic. Weathers. Now this will be... Probably will be the next card. Yep. yep. Anthony Siegler. So... He <laughs> he definitely wanted his name not to blend in with his uniform. Which is smart. I so which is smart. Props for that. Actually, it's never a bad thing to pull a Yankees card. Um, that's for sure. So just don't, a just a base. Yeah, I don't know much about him. Don't know much about him. If you you guys do, let us know. We'll look him up a minute. See if there's any value to that one. Um, but yeah, fun break. Definitely uh, not one that's going to be a uh, you know, too much of a strain on your wallet if you can still find them for that, you know, 50 to $65 price range. I think they almost inevitably have gone up because everything has. Uh, we bought some of these Diamond King boxes, relatively inexpensive. Anything right now in the hobby that you can buy a hobby box of that has a couple hits in it for under $80 seems like a steal, um, especially when they're selling Bowman Mega boxes on line for what 60 bucks yeah i mean yeah that price is that actually i heard someone talking about it and that price is actually justified because of how much the cards are selling. Yeah. like that's not yeah. a bad no it's not it's just that you're not you're not guaranteed a single thing and yeah well no exactly two mega box exactly packs. right but yeah yeah but it, i agree but you could hit a monster out of it uh what was that it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's not okay. bad. Yeah, it's not anything great. It might be like a $15 auto, which isn't bad. That's not bad for this product. A lot yeah. of them sell for less than that, so it's not bad. Let us know in the comments below how you like this break. We will be posting, hopefully tomorrow, our Diamond Kings. Um, and we have some other stuff coming in. But once again, everything is slow in the mail. We do have Bowman Mega Boxes coming in, so hopefully we'll get that tomorrow. And if we do... Um, we will definitely be posting that either tomorrow or uh, the next day, so Friday. So stay tuned for that. We'll have a rookie chase break coming up um, and a few other things. So stay tuned for that. We hope you enjoyed this break. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Have fun collecting.